believe there were two ladies uh, who wanted to ask questions. Uh, my name is Anida. I'm a nurse. Uh, sir, I want to know the difference of the Christian and Muslim. And do you think the Christians are not a true follower of the God? Because I'm a Christian, I want to know the truth. Sister, I heard your question correctly. You said you want to know what is the difference between Christian and Muslim? Yes. That is the first part. Second part was what? And uh, uh, do you think the Christians are not a true follower of God? Uh, do I think that Christians are true followers or not? Sister, uh, the major difference between the Christians and Muslims, as I said earlier, that there are many similarities, but there are differences also. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslim and the Christian are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity, that he was God. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me. In fact, if any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon clearly mentioned. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John. <clears throat> Chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, My father is greater than I. Gospel of John. Chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew. Chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God. Anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he is a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. It says, "Amen, men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you witness to it. So, God did by him and you witness to it. So if you analyze and if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity, but he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. You asked me the question that do the Christians worship true God? Correct, sister? Sister, second part of the question was? Sister? Uh, is the sister there on the mic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sister, second part of the question was? Uh, do you think the Christians are not a true follower of God? Yes. Do you really, do you think that the Christians are not the true followers of God. The true Christians are the true followers of God. The false Christians are the false followers of God. As far as the false following of God is concerned, most of the Christians believe that Jesus is God, which is totally false. Nowhere did, no, nowhere did Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, say in the Bible that is God. That is the teachings of Paul, St. Paul, not of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. The two Christians, what they believe, that Jesus Christ is the messenger of Almighty God. And Jesus Christ already said and prophesied many places the coming of the last and final messenger, including in Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Now this spirit of truth is no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So true Christian is a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that there is another comfort to come. And the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So the true Christian 
as the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 110, Min humul mu'minuna wa aksaramul fasikun. That among the Ahle Kitab, there are some who are mu'min, who are believers, but the majority are poverty transgressors. So I believe that the majority of the Christians worship the false god that Jesus Christ peace be upon him. But few Christians are mu'min who believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him as a messenger, and they believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, and they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sister, do you believe that there's one God? Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yeah, I'm believing one God. Do you believe Jesus is God or is he a messenger? Jesus is a messenger. MashaAllah. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. That means you're a Muslim sister. And I would say you're the true, true Christian who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and has come to the straight path. So sister, would you like to take the shahada? Would you like to take the shahada? Yeah. Okay. Is anyone forcing you, sister? Nobody forcing me. Are you doing out of your own free will? Pardon? Are you doing out of your own free will? Yes. Is anyone bribing you? No. Because Nobody. forcing anyone to accept any religion is prohibited in Islam, and I believe it is also prohibited in Dubai. You cannot force anyone to accept Islam. It's not allowed in Islam. It's not allowed in this country. But if you're doing out of your free will, then no one can stop you and surely you can accept sister so inshallah say it in arabic and you can repeat it okay. <clears throat> ashadu ashadu allah allah ilaha ilaha illallah illallah wa ashadu wa ashadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa rasuluhu wa rasuluhu i bear witness i bear witness that that there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. MashaAllah, you become a Muslim sister. <laughs> and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you more. And grant you Jannah. And maybe a source to grant other people to Jannah, inshallah. Jazakallah sister. Uh, brother, we have two more shahadas. Allahu Akbar. Inshallah, dear. So, um, we will go through the shahada procedure, inshallah. May I know your name, sisters? Uh, I'm Lizel Ta'an. Sorry, sorry, sister Michelle. Lizel. Lizel. And the other sister? I'm Lori. Mashallah. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes. Both of you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is the messenger of God? Yes. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. Sisters, are, uh, is anyone forcing you no. to accept Islam? No. You are doing it out of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That. That. Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. MashaAllah, become a Muslim. Allah and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you Jannah. And I request the volunteers that see to it that you take the phone numbers of these new rewards so that you can, if they require any help in terms of knowledge, in terms of support, in terms of social support, see to it that, that you help them out. And it is the duty of every Muslim that whenever a non Muslim accepts Islam, you should welcome them and see to it the whatever difficulties they have that you make the difficulties easy and I request the volunteers to note their numbers and guide them to the right sources available and organizations available in Dubai there are various organizations like Darul Bill, organizations like Kalima Center and other centers where there are sessions and uh, lectures for non-Muslims which give them tarbiya and help them in whichever way they require Jazakallah and I hope no one is forcing you. No, no, no. You're doing out of your own free will. Certainly no, yes. Yes, very good.
Ashadu Ashadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illalla Illalla Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Wa Rasuluhu I bear witness Allah <laughs>